Hey everybody, Tactical Boondoggle here. Just wanted to do a quick review on the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. This is the 9mm version. I currently have the extended magazine installed. Uh, I did do a safety check before, but never can check too much. Um, this particular pistol, I, I do have some talking points I want to go through with this uh, that I'm going to try and get through really quick. The history is that the Smith & Wesson has been developing the M&P Shield for the last couple years and they wanted to get something that was much slimmer. They wanted to get it underneath an inch of width wise and they've done so in this very very slim package. The uh, special notable features of this particular pistol is basically how freaking small it is um, as far as you know width wise and um, footprint height you know uh, length overall it's just it's a very compact pistol it's almost to the extent of a pocket carry competing with some of the you know the the 380s and that type of weapon I'm gonna try and turn on another light here try and get a little more light in here see if that helps uh, the focus of this camera there we go um, this pistol uh, if I wanted to do a uh, size comparison pretty much the universal comparison for size is the Glock 19 I think and that's just my personal reference but uh, if we put it here from a height perspective you can see that with the extended magazine anyway the grip length is almost the same I mean that's that's pretty incredible really um, length overall uh, you can see here that Clock's about an inch longer, and then from a width perspective, uh, trying to get the same kind of angle here, you can see that really the Glock is I think 1.18 inches wide, and the Smith and Wesson something like 0.92. Not all that evident here, but it's definitely uh, evident kind of in, in real life. I don't know if the camera here is doing it justice, but ultimately. Um, just going, continuing on through the uh, talking points. The sight radius here is something like 4.8 inches or so. Um, kind of much shorter than something like a uh, Glock sight radius, which is up in the 5 inches. Uh, the grip is actually an actual, uh, actually an actual, it's, it's an actually pretty decent grip. And you can see with the extended magazine, um, my pinky doesn't hang off. Whereas if I put, oops, just dropped it. If I put the uh, flush fitting mount uh, magazine in, my pinky kind of kind of hangs off a little bit. You kind of have to do that curl under thing that many people don't necessarily like doing. So, just depends on your personal preference. One of the other things is if you're gonna run this particular um, type of magazine, glue this puppy to the bottom here. Because what can happen is if it, if you're if you have this in your pocket or something, and you go to put it in, it may not go in all the way. I think uh, uh, Military Arms even talks about that on quite a few other pistols, and I completely agree with them. Something to definitely do. Um, I, this isn't my particular pistol, so I'm not going to do it for the person I'm borrowing it from. But I, I would definitely consider it if it were mine. The price on this particular pistol, I think, is something on the order of 600 bucks. The operations, striker fired, no no indication other than uh, there's a hole right here that allows you to see whether something is loaded. You can tell this particular one is a 9mm stamp there on the, the uh, barrel. Um, no, no decocker, just because it's a striker fired. There is a safety, and I've heard a lot of different opinions on this safety take a listen it is a very tough safety and if you are going to actuate that safety you're going to know it's actuated now it is a little high um, and it's a little bit far back so if you're already coming onto the pistol to get to it it's a little you're really having to reach kind of far back making a funny hand gesture but you're definitely going to have to know that it was uh, preset as safe. As far as accidentally activating the safety, if you look at how my hand sets up, I'm nowhere near the safety. Um, the only way it would get accidentally set 
or on set for that case would be if you're coming in to, to grab it and you grab it kind of goofy and you accidentally bump it up or something. But while I've been shooting this pistol, I've got about three or 400 rounds to it. I've never accidentally actuated the safety and neither has anyone else that has shot the pistol. It's a safety feature that they decided to put on here. If you use it, good. If you don't want to use it, just leave it off. Uh, magazine release. You can see it's only single sided. I believe you may be able to swap it out, but at this point I haven't tried, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But it, it is only single sided. Um, Takedown, just like many other type pistols, lock it back, rotate this piece type thing, and it comes apart that way. Not going to do it all the way, but you get the idea. It's uh, really a pretty simple um, takedown. Ease of cleaning, pretty easy. You know, just like a clock, really, or any other sim. You know, uh, striker fire type pistol. As far as kit goes, being that this pistol is so light and small, and getting a good grip on it can be a tad bit harder. <coughs> harder. Uh, the kick is a little bit more than I would prefer. It's not really bad. I mean, like a Diamondback or something much smaller than this or even a car. Um, those are a little worse, but you're getting even smaller. So really what you're trading off in a little bit smaller package, you're getting, you know, a round or two more in this and, um, you know, just the name Smith & Wesson and then, uh, the availability of some parts and uh, holster type things. Um, the reliability, really of all the comp, the super compact type single stack pistols in the class, this and car, you know, your PM9s, your CM9 type things, this is on par with those and really not a whole lot else. There's not too many other pistols out there that have the same reliability as this puppy. You know, I, I've, I've tried out some of the Kimbers, you know, the new Kimber, um, and it, it says in the manual to use only uh, hollow points and things like that. Well, this thing doesn't say anything. It says shoot it all, and it runs it all. It's been fantastic. Uh, the the reason I purchased this puppy is because it is, or well, I didn't purchase it. That my buddy purchased it was for concealed carry. It's just such a small package. It, it you know, you hardly know it's on you all day when you've been carrying this thing for as long as he does. And just being that it's such a small package, you know, it, it's just a great gun for that type of uh, carry. Uh, use cases again you can train with this pistol if you're wanting to do something a little smaller you know planking fun survival zombies I don't know if I'd use this for zombies just because of the, the limited magazine capacity and I don't know if I went over that but extended is eight the the flush fitting is seven so just something to keep in mind um, availability I kind of went through you know the whole whole the whole holster concept but um, there's a lot of holsters already available for this pistol, which can be a benefit. And uh, the, the gunsmiths out there and um, the following of this pistol is actually pretty good. There's a lot of people that have enjoyed shooting this. I know a lot of people I talk to at the range have heard a lot about this gun or have one themselves or really enjoyed shooting this pistol. So overall, I really like this pistol and um, have enjoyed shooting it. And... Uh, Really look forward to shooting it some more. Um, just so everyone knows, I did check for this being safe before I started doing the video. Just hate wasting time doing it. And uh, as always, stay safe and keep shooting because a gun is only as good as the shooter behind it. And uh, hopefully you'll see some video of me shooting this puppy in the next couple seconds here. And... Uh, Appreciate the, the feedback on any of my videos, and if you enjoy them, subscribe and keep watching. Thanks. Bye. Smith & Wesson Shield, or M&P Shield 9. Got five rounds, sell your belt, load it up. Just going to be shooting the 14-inch gong, about 15 yards, recoil from the backside there.
Got the Smith & Wesson M&P shield, 9mm. Got five rounds of cellular and belt loaded up and shooting 15 yards at a 14 inch gong. Just gonna do a rear recoil. Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9, got 8 rounds loaded up of the CCI aluminum. Uh, you'll be doing shooting a 14 inch gong, 15 yards, 4 shots one side, uh, 4 shots the other of recoil. I do have the extended magazine in. Shooting the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm, shooting some American Eagle uh, 115 grain ball ammo, just shooting here 15 yards, it's a recoil a comparison. Got the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9. Got uh, eight rounds loaded up here of CCI aluminum. Just gonna be doing the plate rack to show some transition speed. I think we're about 10 or 11 yards here. Helps if you actually hit. Shooting Smith and Wesson MP Shield, about 15 yards. American Eagle 115 grain. Smith & Wesson M&P Shield, about 15 yards, shooting American Eagle, 115 grain. That was awesome. Now I'm shooting at the Ipsy. Okay, crap. Got the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9. Got eight rounds loaded up of CCI Blazer Aluminum. Just gonna be doing a mag on the Ipsic uh, full-size silhouette. I think I missed one. I think there's two right there. Not too awfully bad, but man, it goes quick. <laughs> Eight rounds.